I killed your queen. Hi, my name is KK, and guess what? We got we got the speed droplet. I did this off camera, completely unintentionally. I killed like eight aphids. I was just kind of running around with all the uh, active mutations that I needed to get it. Didn't think I was going to get it that fast. Maybe they increased the drop rate of it. However, I'm so happy I have that now because I can move at supersonic speeds. I actually got to get my aphid slippers so we can max this bad boy out. And speed is definitely going to be the name of our game today because I want to clean up some of the data that is missing. I do have one time and ominent missing, one spacer development missing, and then I have two things in the miscellaneous missing. This last one I can't get yet because it's in the, uh, where the remixer is located and I can't get in there yet until after I fight some more bosses, which I completely forgot about the wasp queen existing and the fact that I haven't killed her yet. So I may be in doing that uh, after I collect some stuff. And then, of course, we do have the last molar missing, which is in the brawny boy bin behind the two black widows. So I'll be taking that on or taking them on as well to go ahead and get that last one. But since we are juiced up and we've got max speed with us now, we're going to go explore or, you know, it's not really going to be exploring. I do know where these are. I did look them up ahead of time to make this a little bit easier. So we're going to head to the first two, which one is in the oak tree. And one is in this field station over here. I do not know how I missed either of these to begin with because they are completely open. One is going to be right in here. There it is. Local fauna report. Also, you may notice I do have 33 tufts with me. That is because I traded out the trinket for the tufts so that way I don't have to equip it and I don't just keep jumping off and trying to kill myself everywhere I go. All right, and one of the datas is somewhere in here. Oh, right there. Boom. In beginning test 45. Again, don't know how I missed it. And then the last piece of data that is currently available to us. Wow. Got stuck there. Starting to freak out a little bit. But the last piece of data that is available to us is at the trash heap. So we're going to make our way there. Also, I do hope I'm coming up okay uh, as far as the sound goes. I did finally switch over my vocal recordings to the same software that I've been recording the game with. Uh, so now it's all in one. I have been recording them separately and then putting them together in post. And since I started using the new software, it's like the sound of the mic had changed. So I did a couple of test recordings and I couldn't quite get it right. Uh, so where I'm at now is kind of where I have landed and I'm hoping that this, this is good because this is probably where I'm going to be for a while as far as recording. I did also move the mic that could have something to do with it. It is now directly in front of me instead of beside me. I do say my voice sounds a little bit fuller with the mic directly in front of me instead of off to the side, but there is like a lot of reverberations happening. Like there's so much reverb and I guess it's from the room. Maybe I don't have enough stuff on the walls. Um, I could also put a filter over the mic. I do have a pop filter on it to reduce the pop sounds, but I don't think it's actually working the way it's supposed to. Uh, so I may just change it for one of the, uh, uh, whatever they're called, where it goes over the mic and completely covers it. But overall, I definitely like having the, um, oh, I'm going to the wrong spot. What am I doing? I definitely like having the mic in front of me. I, it feels more comfortable. I don't know why I didn't do this before. Actually, I do know why I didn't do this before because I had my desk up against the wall and now it, it scooted away a little bit and it actually works great. So with all that said, I do hope everything sounds uh, great. Perfect, amazing, awesome. All those words that I would love to be described as. Oh, right. So I did upgrade my Sites of the Blossoms up to level nine. I forgot to do that before I got off last time, but I do need to put it back on the bar because every time you upgrade it, it still removes it from the bar. So let me make sure that's there before I need it. And then I wanted to put on the gas mask. So in one of these cans should be the last data that I can get. And I think it's this one. I see it. Yeah, I definitely never jumped in this can, so I see how I missed this one. I, I still can't get in the can. Get in the can. Do I have to reduce my speed? There we go. Perfect. So now I just need to gather everything for taking on the Black Widows. This is going to be a challenge because... Well, I mean, not really, I guess. I think I can pull one out at a time, just shooting them with an arrow. But if I were to try and take on two of them at a time, that would definitely be a huge challenge. But let's not try to do that today, shall we? So I do actually want to try uh, taking on the Black Widows with the Assassin Mutation. I don't think I'm going to be too far off from getting this up to phase three. So I think I'm going to go kill a bunch of mites because there's a lot of them over in this direction. 
and hopefully I can just get that up to level three so I can give that a shot. There we go. Definitely did not take long at all to get that. And with that mutation maxed out, we now get its mastery bonus, which says attacks with daggers rip open new opportunities, increasing damage enemies take from bleed effect, which is awesome. It's going to be another status effect that we can afflict, inflict onto the Black Widow. And we're going to go ahead and drop the coup de grace because this does only give you a 30 hit point boost. And I think, wait, 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 wait. So I think we're going to drop Apex Predator for it. Uh, the speed increase doesn't seem to be that useful in this kind of fight, but we're going to keep using the scythe anyway because it's our top weapon with sour equipped to it. Wendell is still stuck down there, by the way, which could stop me from using the, uh, whatever that thing is called, the Inbigoning Cell, which is unfortunate because I do uh, want both endings, as I said before, but I may not even be able to get the bad ending anymore since I dropped him off down there by accident. Also gonna go ahead and recycle this flag. You know, I don't understand why they had to put two of them in here. Just one would have been really cool, man. Like, no need for two. Oh, I can't see. Thank you, man. Three bands. That's a new record. Ow. Oh, no. I don't know why y'all are deciding to come out all of a sudden. And now I don't have to drag you out. I can just come up and fight you. And I got a little bit of light over here. Oh. Okay, that was really interesting. <laughs> all right. Two down. Get out of here. So not bad. Actually, uh, let me get rid of the poison. Uh, yeah, not bad. I mean... The fight's definitely hard to begin with. Having the mance, having three mance on that one, I was just able to back up. That was awesome. Uh, but even just then, just getting the one was still really useful. Let me get some light in here. Oh man, I forgot to put on my uh, my harvesting gear before I farmed that one. Yeah, I got two uh, super spider venom just from the first one, so I didn't get any from the second one, which sucks. That was me just moving along, not paying attention. But I just got the... Uh, quest completed for getting all of the milk molars. That's awesome. It does feel great uh, to be able to walk up to those black widows and just take them out. Now that that's not a issue at all. I mean, obviously, if I didn't have the right gear and I just come across one, that would suck. Thankfully, I'll always be carrying the scythe at least for a little bit. Ah, forgot I needed these. Now we head back to base and we're going to get prepared for the wasp queen fight yet again. I do hope I can actually take her out this time. I have died to her twice. Two thirds of my death, right? I know I died to her twice in the Black Widow. Is that it? I don't remember. I need a death count. I'll know whenever I do, uh, whenever I finish. It'll tell me on the report card. I'm also not gonna know if I need any more scabbies until I finish. Cause I don't feel like counting and going through what I have. We are here to max out. Oh, done. That is awesome. And we are actually heading straight back to the brawny boy pen because I wanted to clear out the web sacks because there is a trinket in here. The Whittle Whittling. Widow Whittling. Okay, a little hard to say actually. An unusual piece of a black widow that seems to call for its children. So this gives you Whittling Wrangler. I'm gonna struggle with all of my W's today. And this is like mom jeans. It, but you summon the uh, black whittlings instead of just the regular whittlings. Also got two black ox horns out of that, so that's pretty cool. Oh, I don't know how I missed this before. An impossibly strong layer of fiber that can reinforce a shield to be nearly unbreakable. So this gives you block strength. It's another trinket. Uh, we've talked about block strength before. It just increases your block gauge by a certain amount, depending on what uh, you're using. Now we head back and we get reset up and I'm probably just gonna come right back at the brawny boy Ben. So it's gonna be like I never left. What do you mean I've been gone? I've been here the whole time. Never mind the time of day change, that's irrelevant. 
Okie dokie. So the setup we're going with is the Mother Demon armor set because this does give you a chance for Venom coating. The Wasp Queen is immune to poison, but not to Venom. So I feel like having that could be a little bit of a boost. We are going with the Salt Morning Star, as well as having the shiny Salt Crystal in our Trinket spot to increase the salt damage we can do because the Wasp Queen is weak to salt. Mutation-wise, we've got Coup de Grasse, Spicy Safety, Trapper Peeper, Mithridatism, and Sour Sensation. I do not know how well this setup will work. I do hope it works really well. Uh, it is a little bit different than what I've tried before, but I also wasn't successful before. And of course, we do have our various smoothies, which will give us some boost. And we'll go ahead and chug all these, and then we're going to start the fight. I did, however, forget to grab a meal. That could have been beneficial. So I think the big concern here uh, is following her attacks and being able to block those. Uh, that's why I wanted the shield. And not using Barbarian this time, because I do think that was a pretty uh, hurtful mutation to have. All right. Good blocks, good blocks. Well, not good blocks. Ooh. You can see I've already done uh, Venom and Bleed on her. Come on, stamina. God. Yeah, I definitely don't want those attacks to make contact. Ow, and it did, of course. Ah, we got a drone in here. It's big damage happening. Ooh. Need that bleed to go away. All right. Oh, more ads so soon. Oh, good, good landing. We are actually doing an excellent job right now. We are about uh, two thirds of the way done, getting close to a quarter of the way done. If we can just keep this progress up, we are in great shape. Definitely have to avoid all of her attacks now because we are going to be taking damage like crazy if we get hit. Oh man, I was just thinking about how much I was enjoying not having ads in right now. Two drones. Oh, I just realized it's two drones. Ow. I'm stuck. Ah, I really hate that you're just out of reach for me. Oh, good blocks. No, no, come on, stamina, get back. Oh. oh, that is a relief. Oh, that is such a relief. And I want to make sure I can harvest as much as I can off of her. So we are switching to Dissection Expert and having our trinket on, our lucky trinket. What is that called? Like sticky fingers. And not bad. All right, so overall though, I think this was a pretty good setup. Um, being able to do uh, bleed as well as venom is awesome. And of course, beating her did give us a new mutation called Bardic Inspiration. The twing of your bowstring mimics that of a harp empowering your allies as you shoot. And this gives you Bardic Inspiration mutation. I actually don't remember what that does. Bardic Inspiration gives all of your bow and crossbow attacks a 25% chance to play a bardic melody. This melody has a chance to apply a buff to the user and all nearby players for 10 seconds. And each of those do different things. You can check it out on the wiki if you want to see what those do. Ooh, man, though, that feels good to have that done finally. Uh, what was that? Third time? Third time's a charm is what they say. Uh, my arms, I think my arms like got really stiff during that fight because I was so into it, man. Also having these beefy wasp oats uh, on the bar, that was awesome. Just being able to knock off the poison pretty much as soon as I got it, as long as I was paying attention, which I did a really good job that time. Which I remember, if I remember correctly, the first time I fought her was because I wasn't paying attention to my health. It may have been the second time. One of the two times. Yeah, that's That was my downfall. Which actually, funny enough, is how I died after killing a Black Widow. Don't want to fight you right now. I killed your queen. There are a couple of things, or at least one thing that I'm thinking about at the moment that I want to do right when I get back to the base. We got some stuff done, some big stuff. I don't know how long this video is going to be because it was big stuff here, but it could very well be short stuff in editing. But we killed the Wasp Queen. We killed the boss of the Brawny Boy Ben, 
And we also killed the two Black Widows in there, which in their own right are a boss all on their own, which actually means we have actually killed every single Black Widow in the yard at least once now. And I used actually so many times just then, and I do apologize. Actually, I don't. <laughs> you know, it may have been faster for me to just jump down and walk down there instead of coming all the way over here to the zip line. Leave me alone. And with these wasp queen parts, I want to do the same thing that I did with the mantis. And I'm not going to use any of this stuff until I can farm the mantis, not the mantis, the wasp queen by making the head mount and then eventually the stuffed queen and placing it outside of the brawny boy bin. So that way I can farm her a little easier and with a little more rewards. And the one thing I want to do that I have been forgetting about is crafting Sarah's Charm. This has actually been available to me since I went under the Undershed and got Pond Moss. So Sarah's Charm is a collection or a combination of the Right Elf Charm and the Left Elf Charm. You found those in two various places. I think one of them was in the pond and the other one was in this stump lab. So you can craft these, which combines their perks as well. It gives you invincible attack plus invincible shielding, uh, which is to give you a chance to repair your weapon and your shield while you have Sarah's charm on. And that is gonna be it for this one. I apologize if it's short, uh, or if it's not short, then I don't apologize. I actually don't know yet, but I do feel like it's gonna be short just because I pretty much knocked out my objectives pretty quickly, which is awesome. But next time we are gonna focus on doing the mixers. So if you do wanna see that and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. You can also like this video. That also helps me out. Share it with your friends, share it with your mom. Share it with your grandpa. I think you understand what I'm trying to say here. Also, if you're interested in joining the channel, I do have a couple of videos out for channel, channel members only. And I am revealing a little bit of a secret project I just started on that I uh, do hope to continue on and complete. But it's gonna be a lot of work. And if you like what you're seeing on my base here so far, that could also be your motivation to consider subscribing because all of this that I have planned to build is definitely gonna be waiting until I 100% this world. And then I'm going to completely fortify. So there'll be a long series of that, probably not a long series. I am gonna try and do it as quickly as possible so I can move on to New Game Plus because I have yet to experience that. But I think that's enough of me rambling on. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you.